Hey guys, this is Alan from Queen Creek Tropicals and today I'm going to show you why the leaves on your citrus like oranges, lemons, kumquats, limequats, all citrus why are they curling up? I have a few hundred citrus guys at our nursery and um, over the years, you know, I always wonder why the leaves are curling up and then for the longest time I actually thought it was overwatering but then once I started paying attention and actually watching the trees to see what they do I actually figured it out and I found out that there are two main reasons why the leaves on your citrus are actually curling up and don't panic guys it's not actually gonna kill your trees it's just something that happens and it's very easy to fix and I will show you how to fix it in just a minute now two reasons guys let's go with reason number one reason number one guys is actually lack of water believe it or not Lack of water is going to make the leaves on your citrus curl out. And the reason for that, let me show you. So I have a bunch of citrus right here. And they are not on my irrigation lines, like my other trees right here. The reason I don't have them on irrigation is because this is actually a temporary spot for these trees and they are going to be moved somewhere else. Now here, guys, it gets really hot every day and if you don't pay attention to your plants, they will dry out on you very quickly and all it takes is just just a few hours for your trees to actually take damage now as you can see I have a lot of uh, leaves in here that are actually curling up just like this guys right here you can see the curling going on in there and then I have a lot of them that actually are showing this like this guys right here actually just starting to curl up now is that going to actually kill the plant no it's not guys and i'm going to explain why they're actually curling up so i'm hung water in this guys and then if it's 115 120 degrees sometimes i don't get to to water them uh soon enough so what happens is as you know when you don't water your trees and they run out of water usually what happens is your leaves are going to start to wilt like droop they're gonna droop down because they're running out of water now with some citrus this does not happen to all of them even within the same varieties they all act different so as your leaves actually start to droop down guys like let's say this one right here as it starts to droop down what's actually gonna happen is it will start to curl up just like that you see those guys yes just like those and the reason the curling happens guys is because the plant is actually trying to minimize the sun exposure and actually prevent the water from evaporating from from the leaves to conserve water so the leaves curl up to minimize the surface area that the sun is actually hitting to prevent the water from evaporating because the plant is running out of water and if it runs out of water completely it's going to die so what usually happens is let's say they droop down just a little bit and then they curl up now let's say you actually get to it and you water then if you notice this before if you grow plants you probably had this happen to you before but when you water a plant that actually needs water what usually happens in the next few hours is it will perk back up now with citrus once the curling happens guys it's just not gonna fix itself it will perk back up but it will not uncurl the curling will actually remain there forever until the leaf is ready to be cycled off and then it will just drop off and the new leaves are going to grow now a lot of people actually think curling of the leaves it's actually overwatering, and that's the biggest mistake you can actually make because if your leaves are actually curling up and they're droopy and you don't actually recognize that and you start watering because you think you're overwatering your plant and if you live in the desert like I do guess what's gonna happen in the next day or two you just kill your plant and then you have the false assumption that you kill your plant because you overwater it and then you get another citrus you go to the, to the nursery get another one and guess what happens again 
the same thing is going to happen and the same thing is going to keep on happening over and over and over and you will never figure it out and you always think that you're actually overwatering your plants which is not the case guys overwatering does not cause your leaves to curl up guys i can promise you that a hundred percent i have a few hundred citrus and i've been watching them for the past few years but closely actually in the past six months i've been like watching them really closely just to see what's going on because I wanted to figure this out so that way I can pass that knowledge to you guys so that way you don't make the same mistakes I'm making. Now your trees are actually, if they wilt, they will curl up. You water, they will curl back, uh, they will perk back up, but then the curling is not gonna go away, okay? So that is reason number one. Now, is this going to affect in any way the growth of your tree? No, it's not, guys. So now this is mainly cosmetic damage the, the foliage is still functional it's still uh, absorbing sunlight it's still evaporating the water it's still doing everything that it needs to do to help your plant grow it's just it's just curling up like this it's just only cosmetic damage it doesn't look nice it may look a little bit uh, ugly but you know it's just the way it is is there any way to fix the curling no it's not guys once the damage is done, it's done and there's nothing you can do to fix it. What you can do is actually water your plant and make sure it doesn't go fully dry in the sun and then prevent the plant from wilting. Now this curling does not happen to all of them guys. I have a lot of plants in here. Like this one here is starting to droop down. You can see how the leaves are, are, um, are droopy here. They should be all the way up here, but they're starting to droop. This just happened in the past 15 minutes. So I need to water this plant. But you can see the leaves are actually not curling up on this one. Why? I don't know. It's just the plants, you know, they're all different. Um, I have a lot of them in here. And uh, at one point or another, a lot of them, you know, they went dry on me. So some of them curled up, like that one over there. And then other ones, like this one right here, no issues at all. Why that happens, I don't know. So just keep that in mind. Here we have oranges, lemons, kumquats, lime quads, pomelos. You know, we have everything, guys. All the citrus that you can imagine. And then all of them act different, even within the same variety. Some oranges will curl up, other oranges will not, even within the same varieties. So now, if your leaves are curling up, now you know why that's happening don't panic just check your soil how do you check your soil well if your plant is in a container like this one right here all you gotta do is stick your finger in there and if it's dry guess what you need to water if it's moist then you don't need to water guys so in containers all you gotta do is follow the 50 to 75 percent rule wait until 50 to 75 percent of that container is dry and that is exactly how often you're going to water so obviously every plant is going to be different. Um, I'll make another uh, video specifically talking about how to water your plants in containers. But just to give you a quick uh, tip, just follow the 50 to 75% rule. So reason number one. Now let's talk about reason number two, guys. And for that one, I'm going to have to walk over to my citrus in the ground. Reason number two, and that is pests bugs insects whatever you want to call it what usually happens with citrus and this mainly happens to well it happens to plants in ground and plants in containers but usually what they do is they attack the new growth guys uh, for me are usually like leaf miners or thrips what they do they lay their eggs inside the leaf uh, when they're green and soft like this one right here when the larvae hatches they actually start sucking up the juices from the leaf and in the process the plant or actually the foliage just starts deforming like this one right here you can see the tracks in there and you can see how the leaves are sort of curling up now this is uh, normal guys especially if you live in an area where citrus grows well like in my area uh, the leaves are gonna curl up, they're gonna look gnarly, just like this one. And the reason that happens is, well, the bugs are sucking up the juices, and you know what happens? Well, the leaf starts deforming um, and misshaping because, well, it you know it doesn't have uh, liquid here, and then it has some liquid here, and then it just starts shriveling up, and it's just the way it works. Can you fix that? Yes, you can. I've tried soapy water, I've tried neem oil, and unless you're very consistent, like spray every single day or every other day, 
it's extremely hard to you know keep this under control so now what I do is just I let nature do its thing and then I don't do anything does it look ugly yes it does and usually it only affects the new growth so when you have a lot of new growth like this one right here and then you have leaf miners thrips or uh, aphids you know you may encounter those issues of the leaves curling up like this one curling down it could be up down doesn't matter don't worry about it guys is that going to kill your tree no it's not it's only cosmetic damage the leaf as soon as it hardens then the bugs are going to stop eating it and then the leaf is actually still functional just like if they curl up because of lack of water this is only cosmetic damage it's not going to kill your tree it's fine the only way to actually fully treat it is if you want to use pesticides guys and you know you're going to have to eat your fruits eventually and whatever the label says i don't care that stuff is gonna go in your fruit and you're gonna eat it so if you're okay with that then go ahead and use pesticides guys but those are the two reasons why your leaves are curling up reason number one just as a summary guys reason number one your leaves are curling up because of lack of water as the leaves start to droop down they start to curl up to prevent um, evaporation to minimize the surface area if you water it in time they're gonna perk back up but the damage is already done so there's nothing you can do reason number two guys that is usually thrips aphids leaf miners bugs actually getting into the foliage and then sucking up the juices from the plant and then that's causing the leaves to curl now those are the two main reasons that actually cause our citrus here our nursery curl for whatever reason up or down um is that going to kill your plants no it's not guys it's only cosmetic damage and it's just part of growing plants now usually lack of water curling only happens to us in containers in the ground to be honest i have never seen it happen because in the ground plants are actually able to grow their roots out and deeper into the ground seeking water if they actually need water so they can actually take care of themselves a little bit on like relying on you 100% in containers. So the curling in containers is mainly going to happen due to lack of water. In the ground, the main problem that I have are just bugs, insects. And then, you know, we don't do anything anymore. Uh, we just let it be and it's just cosmetic damage. The, the leaves are still functional and your plant's still going to grow and still going to fruit. So don't worry about it. Now. I can guarantee you leaves are not curling because of too much water guys that has never happened to us usually when you overwater citrus the first thing you're gonna get is discoloration of the leaves they're gonna start turning yellow and that takes several months to overwater your plant guys several months it doesn't happen overnight it doesn't happen one week two weeks three weeks it takes several months and normally only happens during the winter when the evaporation rate in the soil it's a lot lower and then your plants not growing and the soil is just staying wet forever so and it's cold on top of that so usually overwatering issues is the main thing you're gonna get is yellowing of the leaves and that is chlorosis which it's not actually the water doing it guys it's the water flushing the nutrients in the soil and the main nutrient that citrus needs is actually nitrogen so as soon as they start running out of nitrogen the leaves are gonna start yellowing on you and it's just a byproduct of actually overwatering but that takes a long time to happen and I mean you you have to completely ne neglect your plant to actually kill it from overwatering so don't be afraid to water your plants because not watering your plants here in the desert guys takes one day to kill them when it's 120 degrees in full Sun but it takes several months to kill your plant from overwatering overwatering so which one you rather do over water on underwater but anyways guys hopefully this helps you out and then um, this took me a little while to actually understand because I, I didn't get it because to me I thought I was watering enough but I guess I was not and when it's extremely hot sometimes sometimes guys even if you water and the plant goes a little dry they're still gonna curl up and the reason they're doing that is just to preserve water um, but don't worry about it just keep watering your plants um, and then they're going to be fine once they actually grow roots in the soil they become stronger so that's the main reason why the curling up due to lack of water rarely ever happens in the ground I have never seen any of my plants in the ground unless I recently put that tree in the ground um, because citrus usually takes about a year to two years to fully grow roots in the soil but anyways guys hopefully this helps you out if you have any questions comment below 
if you like the videos make sure you like them so other people can actually see them and um, well I'll see you next time